Hello lovelies, one of the things that the exam I said that people struggled with last year was working out what the command words are asking them to do. So in this video I'm going to go through how changing one word in a question can actually completely change the answer. And this is command words. So I'm going to focus on three, there are obviously lots, but there are three main ones and they are describe, explain and evaluate. So this is an activity I do with all of my classes and um, the year sevens love it, doing it with the year eleven boys always really really freaks them out so we're going to describe my outfit or my jumper rather so what does my jumper look like my jumper is made of wool probably not um and it's got pink bits it's got pink and white stripes in the back and it's got a navy bit on the front so that is a description of my jumper that is what it looks like then the second one is explain my jumper why am i wearing a jumper I'm wearing a jumper and it's March and it's a little bit chilly and the weather report says there's going to be a lot of snow coming up soon and you can definitely feel it in the air. So that is why I'm wearing a jumper, because it's cold. A completely different answer to the what does my jumper look like, describe my jumper, why am I wearing a jumper, because it's cold. And then the one that always catches people out is evaluate. So evaluate my jumper. And for the evaluate question, what we need is good things. We need bad things, we need your justification, and because. And this is the bit that year 11's go, oh my god, she's not actually asking me to say something bad about her, is she? Yeah, I am. A good thing about my jumper is that I really like the colour, I really like pink, and I really like navy. A bad thing about my jumper is that it has to go on a delicate wash, which is really, really annoying. You can't just throw it in the washing machine, you have to treat it like a precious little princess. Um, my opinion of my jumper. So I think this is a good jumper because I really like the colours and it is worth putting the effort in um, even though it's a real pain to wash. So we had good things about the jumper, I like the colours, bad things about the jumper, it's pain to wash. My opinion, I like the jumper and then the justification for the, the opinion, the colours make it worth it being a massive pain to wash. So all I did there was change one question, one word in the question and we came out with three completely different answers. Now there are some other common command words you're going to come across, one of them is compare. So when you have two things we are looking for similarities and differences. If you only give similarities you're not comparing something, you need to give the differences as well. If we have a suggest question that is asking you to take your scientific knowledge, apply it to a new context that you may not be 100% familiar with and then come up with a sensible answer and there were generally lots and lots of things you could do with this so it could be like suggest a new use for this or this is the science behind it, this is the, the chemistry or the physics or the biology behind it, suggest a new use for this. These are generally going to be four, potentially even six mark answers. And when we have six mark answers, what we end up with is hierarchical marking. Now I know this can be a massive, massive pain. What you get is like level response marking. If you just write a bullet pointed list, then it's not logical, it's not coherent, so you're probably sticking yourself in the one or two mark section. If you've written a lot, all the chemistry, all the science rather is correct, you've written in sentences and you've tried to logically link it and there's a little bit of coherence in there, then we're probably looking at three to four marks. However, if all the science is correct and it's a lovely paragraph that flows, and it doesn't have to be a massive long paragraph that flows, we don't we're not asking you to write loads and loads here, then we're probably looking at five or six marks. But for a six mark question, it's not necessarily just six bullet points because that's not logically linked and that's not coherent. So even if you you write 10 correct scientific bullet points that's not necessarily going to get you into the higher level band there and um, if you want to see loads and loads of questions like this with my kind of like advice how I've broken it down how you can answer these I've written 75 combined science 75 separate science so 150 in total for separate science um six answer six mark six mark answer questions, oh you know what I mean, and then I've written the question and I've written you a paragraph on how to plan it, so in the exam what kind of a note should you be making on the slide, should you be drawing a table, should you be picking out this from the, the question so that you can learn how to do this because this is a skill, it is simply not just simply a brain dump of all the science onto the page. Um, good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I write explain scratches.